Boy, am I glad I don't drive. Look at that line. Yeah, every time. And you know, it doesn't have to be that way. What do you mean? Whenever they merge down a lane, it always backs up. But if they just do the zipper merge, that line wouldn't be so long. Zipper merge? I don't have a zipper. When drivers come up to a lane closure, they tend to get over early, which makes one long, slow line and one mostly empty lane. It's especially troublesome when that long line starts to block on ramps and exits. But shouldn't you move over as soon as you see the merge sign? Not always. When traffic is really backed up, the best thing to do is not merge early. Instead, if they had just all slow down and drive in both lanes until they get closer to the merge point, then take turns merging into the through lane, kind of like teeth on a zipper. It's a lot safer. It is? Yep, got the studies to prove it. Now, if there's no backup and traffic is moving freely, it's fine to merge early. The zipper merge is best used when traffic is heavy and things start to slow down. I still don't think it's fair for people to cut to the front of the line. But you know, if you have two lanes coming up to that merge, then there's no long line to cut in front of, is there? Oh. So it's okay to fill both lanes and take turns. It's the best way to do it. Zip the urge to merge and take turns. A message from the Kansas Department of Transportation.